www.pondscape.us. I don't know how easy this is going to be to see in here or not. This is like algae eaters everywhere. Try to get them without disturbing them. Oh, there's one up on that one rock over there, but he's left. There's two there. So they're like 30% bigger. Two, the other two that were here just darted off because they noticed me. There's some on that uh, rock over there, I think. But, yeah, it's too hard to get at with this light. And uh, the other two over there noticed me, and they're gone. Um, there's one algae eater right up over here. I don't know if it's going to be the sea or not on that white hose. There's two others, one there and one there. I think I can barely see the one there in that screen. The other one down there, you may or may not be able to see. Somewhat difficult. But both the algae eaters and the sharks have gotten like 30% bigger than what they were. Let's get a better look at this one over here. Nice. There's one on the other underside over here that I couldn't see from the other vantage point. I don't know if you can see it in here or not. Visibility gets weird. Yeah, the algae eaters are definitely coming out all over the place. We've had a few dead ones so far. Dead fish, but that's to be expected. There's two of them over there. Um, so far, out of a hundred red tail sharks, we've had three die, and out of thirty-five silver dollar fish, we've had one die, and there it is right here. <laughs> of course, we discovered the other day that our crayfish is alive and well. Here's some red tailed sharks over here. I don't know how well we're going to be able to see them or not. But there's one. Red tailed guppies and goldfish. <laughs> this is a crazy shot. All kinds of different species of fish, mostly goldfish. Picking up the algae on the side. And they just spool along looking for food. Seeing as it is getting dark, our waterfall is lighting up blue. Um, since last time we've been able to adjust the hose so that the uh, in the back so that the stream sprays out in a few other different directions and angles whereas before it was just uh, coming down in, in one stretch this uh, looks a little more natural this way because um, this is what it does in nature it just kind of comes down wherever it comes down it's not like one solid perfect flow definitely gives it a more natural uh, look and feel. Um, there's a sharky up over on the rock there. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this one. Oh, here's a red tail star. These guys are getting big fast, that's for sure. Oh, there's an algae eater. See if we can get a good look at him. Nice up close look. There's another algae eater right over here. You can hardly tell. He looks like a gap in the rock. But that is an algae eater. They blend in and camouflage really good. And they are really good at it. It's what they do. That's why they're the shape and color that they are. They can just go invisible with no problem.
obviously still a work in progress and um, we've also begun a little bit of construction of this upper section a little bit we've been kind of making our marker cuts for where we're going to be cutting this piece away as you can see the first marker cut is right here the second the end marker cut is right here this whole piece is going to get removed, topped out, and we're going to, this tarp here that's on top of it, that's laying there right now, we're going to drop it in, and it's going to overlap this way, but first, this piece of tarp right here, or liner, well, technically all the lake liner is, is it's pond tarp that's been fabricated to be, like, uber durable, but anyway, so we're going to take this, once this is cut out, we're going to overlap and tuck it down this way. And then the tarp going here is going to go down this way, and this is going to be a waterfall. Seeing as um, waterfalls have to obey gravity, we're not going to have any leaks or anything. Because that going that way, this, you know, and then this going that way, you're going to have a smooth flow. So there's going to really be nowhere that the water is going to be able to escape into the ground below. And after we're done, this isn't going to look like a big blue plastic bathtub anymore. Um, it's going to be decorated all nice, just like uh, the rest of our pond is, to look natural, as if it's supposed to be there. So that is pretty cool. And of course our backyard flowers are coming out, and our... Marigolds that I planted everywhere are starting to bloom. The store-bought seed packages are gar garbage. I've, I mean, I've gone through tons of those, and like they don't grow at all. I mean, you've got to pick them off an existing marigold plant because like the seeds they have available to these days are just crap. And our flocks here is probably going to be flowering soon. As I said in another video, here's our newest waterfall, and we're going to have the, the pisser, which is right here, we're going to have him all the way at the, the other end over there towards the, uh, towards the back, and he's going to be feeding the, um, the water flow into the top, which is then going to, you know, waterfall off of here and over, so... Uh, and I didn't have my camcorder out at the time, but um, we've already got um, baby uh, dragonflies. Well, I guess you could say young adult dragonflies, I don't know. But they're the same types that come around that are as huge as freaking sparrows that um, like laying their eggs in here and stuff. But um, this was like an, an adolescent one, I guess you could say. Because it was the same species, I could tell, but it wasn't uh, full grown yet. www.pompkate.us